got it, dude. Just full power, baby, full raw power. Right, so as most of you guys may know, I've been very into sim racing and sim drifting lately. And I was looking at getting a bigger wheel for my setup. Then I just randomly had this idea of making my own wheel, but making it a lot bigger. So I'm gonna head to some local shops and see if we can build together a huge steering wheel. Right, so I think we could use something like a hula hoop as the sort of base for the whole wheel. Because I feel like it's a pretty easy thing to find that's big and round as a circle, so we can use it as the wheel. Bro, we made it. The store is right here. The Tema, shout out. I just want to show you guys this, dude. These two, these two stores burnt down this weekend. Kind of crazy. Yes. Right, I think I found exactly what I needed. So we got the hula hoops. And I figured we could wrap these around the hula hoops. Hopefully that works, I have no idea. Let's get to the next shop because we still need just a few more things. <laughs> All right, we got the supplies. I'm hoping this will work. I got duct tape because yeah, duct tape is always good. Some good screws, a fitting screwdriver. And the only thing I'm not too sure of is this wooden stick because I'm planning on using that as a cross to put like in between here. And then yeah, in the middle, attach that to the wheel. I mean, it should be a pretty easy build. I don't see why this shouldn't work. It's just, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how sturdy it's gonna be. So I'll get to building on this and I'll be right back once I have something that I can attach to my steering wheel. Perfect. Look at this. I'm missing like a short piece here, but I'll just use this other one. And then we'll have to put screws just through here and also into this. I'm gonna try and cut a gap through the foam here. Okay, that just worked. It started to crack here, so I got a bit scared, but yeah, I think it works. This literally turned out perfect. So using these bits here on the side and this one, we're just gonna put it in the middle like that. It is on, baby. I'm about to plug in the cable, which like calibrates the wheel, so it's gonna start spinning. Oh my God. Okay, the force feedback is there, so it seems to work. Yeah, I guess let's swap over to this camera and let's get into some games. I think we're gonna start off with an F1 game. This face cam angle is so funny. Yeah, essentially, when you're drifting, your wheel rotation is way higher, which just means you have to turn more in order to turn the actual car. But F1 cars have a super low steering lock of 360 degrees, which is just 180 that way and 180 that way. I'm also gonna have to use an automatic gearbox, unfortunately, because I have the paddle shifters right here, which, I mean, I... Don't really have them over here. It'd be kind of sick though, but no. Okay, it's gonna send me out straight away. Here we go. <laughs> and I'm in control. Okay. Hard on the brakes through here. Yo, this isn't. This isn't that true. Okay, we went off the off the track there, but yeah, it isn't too difficult in an F1 car. But I will be trying out drifting later on, uh, which yeah, is probably not gonna go as smooth. And I absolutely hate using an automatic gearbox. But yeah, I knew F1 was gonna be quite easy. We'll get into like some other cars later. Oh, late on the brakes, and we. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm sitting super awkwardly with my pedals as well. It's not really helping me out. Okay, I'm gonna try and go for a lap time of sub 140. That's super slow, but dude, it is not comfy to sit like this. But here we go. The hot lap has started, and you can see my personal best just taking off in front of me because I am not as fast with this setup. But here we go. Okay, hard on the brakes here. You see into the corner. Okay, not too bad. I think my wheel is starting to make some funny noises. The motor in the wheel is making some weird sounds. <laughs> Don't really like that, but so far so good. Okay. Don't go off. Okay. Just don't want to go off because the time is going to be invalidated. Oh, God. Yeah, this is not comfy at all. My back is killing me already. I'm also accidentally hitting my brakes because I'm leaning my foot right on the brake pedal, the way that I'm sitting. Okay, that's a pretty clean section right there. I don't think I've gone off yet. Oh god, nearly just slipped there. Okay, we're good. To the finish line. What will I get? 137, that was sub 140, which was the goal, okay. Right, so my wheel is making this noise right here. Which has happened a few times before, so I'm just gonna unplug it and replug it and we should be good. But next up, let's try some drifting. Okay, so we're in Cardex now. I've gone ahead and increased the wheel rotation to 720, so we should now be able to drift. Should, by the way. I don't want to say that we can drift, so I'm gonna be happy if I could connect like one corner here. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, dude. Okay, this is never gonna work. Wait, here we go. Up shift. That was the down shift. Yes. Oh, almost had it. Come on, man. Oh, Jesus. Why do I feel like I said a Corsa would be easier than Carex? All dead. Come on. Yes, I did a drift. I got it. <laughs> I didn't want to oversteer too much, so I just threw it back. Okay, I'm gonna swap over to Assetto Corsa. This is where I spent a lot of my time learning how to drift. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just so hard to hold the drift. Okay, I'll do some third person just for you guys, but I never play this game in third person. It just... It just feels way better in first person, I feel like. See, I'm gonna spin out even more now. I'm just making it more difficult for myself. There you go, baby. There you go. <laughs> we actually had a pretty good angle over there. That wasn't too bad. Woo, that was close. And yeah, it's just so hard. Yeah, I knew I said the Corsa was gonna be a lot better than Carx for sure. Now oh, look at that. That was kinda decent. Okay, I'm gonna clean entry over here. Woo, baby! Let's go! Break a bit here. Clutch kick. Very steep angle. Oh, God. Clutch kick again. Yeah, we got it. Keep it going. Nice. Easy peasy. Let's go, dude. No. <laughs> Woo, that was so clean. Oh my god, okay, slow it down. Yeah, slow it down, slow it down. <laughs> my wheel is starting to get a bit more wonky. It's a bit crooked here and there. Ah, shit! <laughs> the wooden stick hit my nail right on it. Oh, damn, dude. Maybe that was close. Did I just have to try this standing up? Oh, I can't really use my clutch or my brake here. Because the way I'm standing. So we only have throttle control, that's all we got. <laughs> okay, this was... Yo, we got it, dude! Just full power, baby! Full raw power! Alright, that might be the end of the giant steering wheel build. If you guys want to see me maybe do some more crazy stuff like this, building stuff, random challenges, drop a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>